Hi there. Now, in this video, I want to talk to you about what we mean by a set being closed under a particular binary operation. And what I've got here is a definition which we'll read through and I'll do some examples to show you this concept. You'll also get a chance to do an example yourself. So a set is said to be closed under a binary operation, which we'll call star here, if for any two members from the set, the result of the binary operation returns a member of the set. So for instance, if R is the set of real numbers, then under addition, the set is closed. As let's say we had two plus three. We know that equals five. We take two real numbers, add them together, we get back a real number. And five is in the set. It's a member of the set of real numbers. Take for instance, another one where we say six is a real number and to that we add the real number minus nine we get back a real number minus three minus three is also a member of the set of real numbers so that's why we can see that this is closed if you are able to take any two real numbers under addition you always get back a real number which is a member of r so this is true for all real numbers. Just write that in there. This is true for all real numbers. Now, what I want to do next is take another set. Let's say we take this set S, which is restricted to the numbers 1, 2 and 3. And I've defined a binary operation here, a star b, which equals 2a minus b. And the question is, is the set S closed under this operation? Well, let's say I take two members from this set S. Let's say I do 2 starred with 1. Then, according to the rule, it's going to be twice the first member. So that's going to be 2 times 2. OK minus the second member, this case 1. So we end up with 4 minus 1 equals 3. And I can see that 3 is a member of that set. So 3 belongs to the set S. So it looks closed. 3 is a member of this set here. But is it true for all members of the set S? Well, what we ought to do is build up a table which can check out all the different permutations that we can have. So what I would do is put here that we're looking at this binary operation star defined by this result here. And we'll take the members 1, 2 and 3 from S, write them horizontally and down here 1, 2 and 3. Now with this table, I'm going to take these as my first element, so I'll call those A, and in here, this would be my second element, B. So for 2 star 1, 2 star 1, okay, taking the 2 as the first value, then I get the result 3, as we've just seen, so I can put that in there. If I do 1 with 1, then 1 with 1 is going to be 2 minus 1, which is going to return 1. Now you might want to fill in some of the other values here, OK? So just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, you can check your values with mine. OK, well, let's see how you got on. You should find that 2 with 2 returned a 2. 2 with the 3 returned a 1. And when you did 3 with 3, you should have got 3. Now you'll notice I've left spaces from these other answers. And the reason is that when you do 1 with 2, you end up with 2 times 1 is 2, minus 2 gives you 0. And 0 is not a member of that set. You'll also find when you do 1 combined with 3, you end up with minus 1. 3 combined with 1 gives you 5. And 3 combined with the 2 gives you 4. And these 
elements here in red are not contained in S. Let me just write this in here that the members or elements, okay, in red are not in S, okay? Let's just put not in S. So what does that mean? Well, therefore, we can see that the set S is not closed. It's not closed under the operation star. So it's best to put under the operation star there. Now I've got another example here that I would encourage you to have a go. And here it is. If S is the set of elements 0, 2, 4, and A combined with B, A star B is defined as A plus B minus AB all over 2, is S closed under the operation star? So give you a moment just to have a go at this. I would suggest you draw up a table similar to what I've just done on the left here. OK, so give you a moment just to try that. OK, welcome back then. Let's see how you got on. Well, here's the table that I've drawn up with this column here representing the first element A and the row here B. And you'll notice that all the values that I've got here are in the set S. So what we have got then is that S is closed under the operation star. So I hope this gives you an idea then on what we mean by a set being closed under a given binary operation. Now in my next video, I'll be looking at the property of commutativity. So do take a look at that if you're unsure about that particular topic.